Meet Marge. Marge has just enrolled in her first college course where she will learn about technology. Her very first assignment is to do a report about the System Development Lifecycle, SDLC. Because SDLC has several different phases, each student is designated a separate phase to fully explain its importance. Marge has been assigned the design phase, which is the third phase in a set of six. Marge is not familiar with SDLC or the design phase, so she decides to do some research. This is what Marge learned about the system development lifecycle, SDLC, which is the creation of a new system. Let's start with what Marge learned about SDLC in general. A system is a combination of components that, when combined, create a finished product. The system development lifecycle, therefore, is the term used to describe a six-phase process, which are the components that are combined to create a new information technology system, which is the finished product. There are six phases in SDLC. Planning, Analysis, Design, Coding, Testing, and Implementing. Marge has been assigned the design phase, so the remainder of this lesson will be on step three. The design phase can be referred to as the transformation phase because this is when an idea is actually transformed into a real working system. Phase two comes to an end once a customer has agreed and signed off on the system. Once this happens, the building begins. Data is formed into charts, and the design team uses those charts to decide the best way for the data to move and be stored. All of the components and security pieces of the system are also determined during the design phase. Marge realizes that there is more to the design phase than just drawing up plans for the new system. First, along with the system, there needs to be a book that explains how the system can be installed, its components and system requirements. This book is known as the Maintenance Manual. Marge's research also taught her about a second type of book or manual known as the User Manual, which explains how to operate and use the new system once it is implemented. And finally, Marge learned that before the system can move on to the fourth phase, the customer, again, needs to sign off. This allows assurance that the design team met the requirements and is on track to fulfilling the customer's needs. System development lifecycle is the term used to derive at the creation of a new system by combining several components. The SDLC has six phases, planning, analyzing, designing, coding, testing, and implementing. The third phase is known as the design phase, and it begins when a customer signs off on allowing the design team to start building and creating. The main focus of the design phase is to determine how data will flow and be stored. It is also the phase when the maintenance manual and user manual are created, which aid in the installation and operation of the new system. The design phase comes to an end just like it began, with the customer signing off.